Hey, my name is Don Pablo with Weasel News here today, and this is today's news report. We'll start off with a bank robbery that was along the western coast with two armed suspects. Now here's an interview we had with one of the officers that were at the scene. Here's what he had to say. Hi, my name is Don Pablo with uh, Weasel News, and today here we have uh, an officer from LSPD, uh, and we're going to be uh, going over a robbery that just happened left side of the city. So, uh, officer, can we get your uh, your name real quick? I'm uh, Tommy Morell. I'm a senior officer. I uh, do you have? Uh, can you let us know what happened at the robbery today and exactly what went down? Oh yeah, I mean we've getting uh, a lot of these calls lately. People uh, trying to rob banks, you know, all over the place with their little uh, little motorcycles. Uh, so we rocked up. This one was no difference. We had uh, two motorbikes up front and uh, two people robbing the bank with a hostage. Uh, negotiations went pretty smooth. Uh, they just wanted passage to the bike in exchange for the hostage, and that's what they got. Uh, we let them get on their bikes. They took off. Uh, unfortunately for the individual uh, that we busted, he uh, crashed into a local and we were able to pick him up and then take him into custody. Do you have any uh, like reports from the hostage himself or any words from him? Uh, I personally did not have any words with the hostage myself as I was the one pursuing the motorbikes. Um, but I think some of our friends down at county were the ones who took the statement. Uh, all right, all right. And... Um... For the, for the individual that had gotten away, did you guys have any like inter inter interruptions or interactions with that man or no? Uh, we were on him a little bit. Uh, he swapped into three different vehicles, which made it a little bit confusing. In the end, he ended up uh, giving us a slip, but we've got some information on him and we are tracking him down. All right, wonderful. And uh, how is the individual that got caught doing right now? How, how is he? Uh, he uh, was in a pretty sorry state immediately after the motorcycle accident. Obviously, you know, when you're not wearing a helmet, those things tend to never go well. Um, he was run over, actually, so he's got some pretty serious uh, bruises to his chest. I think he cracked a, a rib or two. But uh, our lovely uh, medical staff at SAFR, they took a look at him and they fixed him up. So he's, um, he's able to walk around fine at Bolingbrook right now, and he's being helped over there. All right, that's wonderful. Um... Uh, you talked about how there was numerous different robberies that had uh, bikes or the use of motorcycles in order to get away and negotiate some hostages. Can you tell me a little bit more about this, or like any any like uh, people who tend to get in these situations, or uh, often occurrences or encounters with these people? Oh yeah, I mean these guys, these are the uh, the lowest of the low. You know, this is the least effort that you can really put into one of these robberies, which is why they never tend to go well. Um, our department actually has a very, very uh, well-trained uh, moto unit, so uh, we tend to activate them in these situations, and uh, they get the job done. Okay, thank you for your time, officer. That'll be all. So, this has been Don Pablo with Weasel News. Stay safe out there, guys. Make sure you guys don't pull anything stupid like these, these robbers. Uh, and yeah, make sure you guys have a great day. Lastly... Tonight around 10 p.m. we got numerous reports of unconscious civilians. However, it was just a friendly BMX event. So here's an interview we, with our vice president on the status of the event. I'm Dan Pablo. I've done Pablo this afternoon with Weasel News, and I'm here with a, at a BMX park it seems, and we're having a BMX fight uh, event today. And here we have one of our wonderful reporters as well. Uh, can you tell us exactly what's going on here, and how do you feel? Yeah, yeah, name's Tom Murphy. Um, just kind of chilling out here at the uh, the BMX park. We uh, all decided to rent some bikes and have a good time. Um, you know, came down here trying to get some lines, get some stunts in, you know, get some pictures taken, get some edits made, trying to get some sponsors and what have you. Uh, uh, you know, I think everybody's having a good time. You know, everybody's like chilling out. You know, there's no violence. It's all love. You know, everybody's just chilling out and having a good socializing time. Yo, that's sick, bro. Yeah, absolutely um, wonderful. But uh, yeah, the uh, you know San Andreas Fire and Rescue were down here. Um, they were kind of helping support out, you know, all the all the uh, injured riders and 
you know they're uh, kind of supporting you know these local community events and it's you know nice to see just a just a bunch of uh, citizens in the uh, in the state here just come together you know for a love and passion of bmx riding and just getting out here so uh, yeah yeah how how do you feel about like the beginner levels or the level of experience uh, that multiple people have on bmx riding like do you think it's oh. uh it's adaptable for everyone or everyone's can, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I think it's a good way, a good way to get fit. You know, anybody can just, as long as you can ride a bike, even if you can't, you know, it's not, it's not hard to learn. Uh, you can get out here, you can, you know, start, you know, going up in the ramps kind of slowly and then work your way up and start doing some of the sick tricks that we've been landing today. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's up for anybody, you know, anybody in the city could do it. Um, you know, I'd, I'd kind of like to see some more of these, you know, people chill out, you know, get some food trucks down here maybe. They have a nice little time, maybe get a little competition going on or something, and uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for coming out and, you know, uh, taking the time to come report it. Alrighty, thank you so much for uh, your time and these questions. This has been Don Bubbler with Weezer News. I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and uh, maybe you guys can come and join BMS one day as well. Furthermore, one of our wonderful EMS that was on the scene uh, provided us with some info on the event. This is Don Pablo with Weasel News here today at the BMX scene, and we have an EM, lovely EMS here uh, willing to do an interview and ask our, uh, answer a few questions that we have. Um, so, uh, can we have your name, please? My name is Bryson Johnson. Bryson Johnson, wonderful. So, at this BMX scene, how has the EMS involvement or your medical kind of experience been here? Uh, how is you know, what's going on? on? I used to, I used to, you know, have experience with uh, BMXing as a kid. You know, I used to do it all the time. Um, I, I know, I know a lot of, uh, you know, injuries that happen. I can always help them. You know, I can uh, give them the support they need. Of course, of course, and uh, how have like the extremities of the injuries been like uh, to beginner oh. scale or oh, are you are you fine? Oh my God, sir, I'm good. Alrighty, well, of okay. course. Uh, so yeah, how has the uh, injuries been here at the BMX? Um, you know they've been pretty light, just a few scratches. You know, nothing, nothing too major. You know, of course, uh, nothing of course. too too bad. Yeah, All right, well, thank you so much. With, uh, um, with uh, uh, keep pads, the good you know, work. helmets. All right, yeah, you too. I uh, appreciate you. Appreciate uh, the time. Yep. Uh, so we uh, we understand that our EMS is doing wonderful work in the city. The EMS uh, and the fire department is uh, equally distributing and putting in their their work. So stay safe, out guys, and make sure you guys have wonderful fun either here at the BMX or with whatever you're doing, because you know the EMS have our backs. Signing off. That is all for Channel 14 News today. And again, this is Don Pablo. I'll see you soon.